Hello and welcome to Witchy Woo Tarot. This reading is for the general collective of Capricorn and will not be for everyone watching. So if the message resonates with you, please let me know in the comments. And if not, please check your moon, rising, and Venus signs for other messages you need to hear. So remember, time, energy, and gender are fluid. Feel free to reverse roles however you see fit. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So thank you so much to my new and returning subscribers. You guys are so freaking awesome. Um, if you haven't already heard, please be sure to check the description box below and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for details on how to enter into my Halloween giveaway with Messy Awakening. So yes, there are going to be two giveaways again this month. Uh, my usual monthly giveaway where I select three winners and since Halloween is my absolute favorite, I will be doing a fourth winner to win the spooky stuff I've listed on my social media. So if you are already entered in from subscribing to my channel before, you are already entered. But if you would like to get Get more entries go and follow my Instagram and Facebook tag more people um, and that will actually get you entered even more so <clears throat> for Scorpio season I thought it would be appropriate to do a deep dive and see how your person is feeling about you and so that would be whichever person that pops into your head when you think of love and romance um, it could be about one person, it could be about three, five people. It just really depends on what your story is. No judgments here, but it could also resonate for cross watchers. So just take what resonates with you and don't force the rest to fit, okay? Um, I will be starting off with the Santa Muerte Tarot and then moving into the Tarot of Sexual Magic Mini. So if you are not into seeing a bunch of naked people doing raunchy stuff out in the woods, then please go ahead and click off before your ears and eyes are tainted. Um, so yeah, let's see what this person is thinking and feeling about you, Capricorn, as well as how they're viewing you and the connection, um, what their intentions are towards you, as well as their desired outcome. So what are they thinking and feeling? What are they thinking and feeling about Capricorn? Okay, so wow, we have the Temperance card, the Five of, oh wait, nope, sorry, the Eight of Cups. Why do I always think this is the Five of Cups? Because he's sad. Um, or she's sad. Is, she, is that skull wearing a wig? I think so. Okay, so we also have the Hanged Man. All right, so let's see how this person is viewing you or viewing the connection. Like I said, this reading could get a little spicy. We got skulls wearing wigs and we have a deck full of naked people, okay? So page of pentacles coming up for how they're viewing you. And finally, oh, not finally, just kidding. Second to finally, what are their intentions for you? <laughs> Goodness, Capricorn. All right, what are their intentions for you? Let's get some intentions. Okay, we have the High Priestess. Beautiful energy. My crystals are just like flapping about down here. And you know how I am about the whole ambiance and aesthetic of my table so just bear with me while I fix this one thing down here it's like this crystal cracked in half and I so desperately want it to not have done so so I try to just keep like resting it up against the broken pieces <laughs> all right anyways so we have the seven of pentacles with the high priestess so um very interesting intentions by the way and let's see what their desired outcome is. What is Capricorn's person's desired outcome for this connection? Ooh, the Four of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so like I said, it could get spicy up in here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Wow, we have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So I think this person realizes that you are their happy ending, Capricorn. This is the, the absolute most beautiful scenario you could think of. Happy family, happy children, like 
tons of love. This is also a card of reunion. So I think this person is realizing that what they desire is reuniting with you and starting a family and starting a life with you, okay? Um, so that's beautiful. Hopefully I don't cry in this reading. So far, Virgo was the only one to make me cry. So let's talk about how they are thinking and feeling about you. So we have the temperance card. So, you know, they're thinking that you are incredibly patient, balanced, um, someone who is an alchemist, someone who is able to create and someone also who is connected with the divine. Okay. Someone who perhaps has gifts and, you know, understands that there's divine timing and so they're they're thinking that you have been maybe incredibly patient with them far more so than they deserve and so with the eight of cups coming up they're thinking perhaps and feeling like the situations of the past were not fulfilling emotionally to them um, <clears throat> they're seeing perhaps where they have maybe given too much attention or too much of their love or too much of their time too much of their energy towards people places things that weren't giving back okay and this left them feeling um, not only deep in thought about about the time that they have spent, but also about the time that they have left. And so Eight of Cups is the foreshadowing of someone leaving and walking away from those type of situations, that type of energy, and, and moving towards their Two of Cups, okay? So this person is really wanting, like I said, a reunion. Um, they're wanting to walk away from the old energies that they have allowed themselves to dwell in, and they want to go in search of that divine connection. And like I said, it's, it's making them think. It's making them see things in a new perspective. And I think, you know, with the hanged man, this is the energy of being stuck, but to me, it's kind of like, look, he's holding, he's holding it. He's holding his own head. And so this is kind of, to me, like, you're not really stuck. I think that what they're realizing is that they've perhaps allowed themselves to be stuck, kind of similar to the Eight of Swords energy, okay? They're enlightening. They're, they're going through some sort of a spiritual awakening. And I think that they're feeling like, um, you know, perhaps... Perhaps you coming into this person's life is what caused that awakening. And so the way that they think and feel about you is, it's like they're seeing life in a new perspective. They're, they're understanding now, um, perhaps like I said, where they have allowed themselves to, to be cheated out of real true love. And so the page of pentacles coming up for how they are viewing you, they see you, they see you working on your stability, um, you know, Capricorn, they always say you're all about your money, right? And the page of pentacles could also represent a student, someone who is um, starting a new business, someone who is an entrepreneur, someone who, you know, is a teacher as well, um, as well as a student. So they see you hustling. They see you putting down the foundations in your own life. And it's admirable, right? You're not like at a, you know, knight queen or king energy but the page of pentacles could also represent someone you know you could be younger than this person um, and they could see you as like someone with drive someone with ambition okay and so their intentions are the high priestess and the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles has also come out in a lot of readings today so to me, this energy is feminine. It's divine feminine energy. This is spiritual wisdom. This is balance. This is kind of um, also a level of awakening, but awakening to what knowledge you have within, okay? Understanding that like you hold the key to that spiritual knowledge. Excuse me. And so the high priestess is kind of like that extremely powerful and and like magical almost mystical energy and they intend to it's like they intend to incorporate this energy 
with all of the stability that they've been trying to manifest themselves. So they could have been potentially waiting for a long time. Seven of Pentacles is planting seeds and needing to wait. It's the process of waiting once the seeds have been planted. So like I said, Capricorn, potentially you planted a seed in this person's mind, um, or potentially you both planted seeds in a sense, and now you're just in that waiting phase of things just like, oh, when are things gonna happen? When am I gonna start to see the fruits of my labor and so there's almost an impatient kind of element to that but I think what they're doing is kind of harnessing your energy because like I said they see you as this person who's manifesting who's putting work in who's being really stable and they're thinking and feeling you know that you are the energy of temperance so you're kind of leading by example here and showing them you know what it takes to, to connect to the divine to be spiritual and so now they're trying to incorporate that newfound wisdom within and allow that to get them through this waiting period okay and so it's like they intend to wait for you is what I'm hearing and so if you know you're the person that's kind of like on your own spiritual journey and they're kind of waiting maybe for the right time to to like come together and, and culminate that together with you because their desired outcome is the four of wands and this is twin flame energy okay this is stability this is marriage it's partnership um, this is like a really rock solid foundation. And so this is what they're wanting to manifest with you. They want this partnership. They're wanting divine union with their soul partner. And so with the seven of cups coming up after that, I truly feel like you are this person's fantasy or their dream. And so seven of cups is, you know, needing to kind of make a decision. There's a lot of emotion here and perhaps in an overwhelming way. And so I think right now what they're trying to manifest is the, is like the building of this foundation leading towards them sharing all these emotions with you, perhaps that they've been waiting to share. So as you can see, we have two sevens, all right? And so I think this person intends to turn this energy into emotion. I think that what they're wanting to do is express themselves to you and, and let you know perhaps that they've dreamed of you, that they think about you, that they're really trying to be patient um, to the point where they can manifest this into reality manifesting dreams into reality that's the energy of seven of cups okay so with this ten of cups coming up here again i'm very convinced that this person wants to reunite with you um and perhaps right now what they're thinking and feeling is the the pain the emotion that goes along with perhaps separating um walking away from those you know those situations that didn't serve and and seeing life in a new perspective so now they're kind of like being forced in a sense to open their eyes to what it really is right so let's get some clarity oh i just looked down and it was 1333 um so 333 three, three, maybe 1333 33, 33 could mean something for someone um, so what do we have to clarify their thoughts and feelings for Capricorn? What do we have for their thoughts and feelings? Okay, so we have the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Wow. So, you know... This energy is really powerful. Like I said, they're trying, it's like they're trying to um, transform the waiting energy and they're, they're trying to go within and discover like what their feelings really are for you, Capricorn. And while they're doing that, it's like they're really truly learning what stability actually is. And they're learning about the love that they've actually deprived themselves of all this time, okay? And so, you know, if you're waiting on this person, understand that they're kind of going through an awakening right now. They're learning about the divine. They're learning about spiritualism. They're learning, they're learning about you and, and who you are, okay? 
So King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, as we know, King of Cups is tender, he's sweet, he's romantic, but he's also not the type to give it away or act um, unrealistically or frivolously when it comes to love. They're more guarded because they've learned through, through time that by being frivolous with their emotions, it doesn't really get them anywhere, okay? And so, you know, perhaps where they've been unrealistic in the past, they're starting to kind of grow emotionally and realize that, you know, love is not a weakness vulnerability is not a weakness it's a strength so as you can see he's tenderly stroking her hair i think that this person is really thinking about you in that tender sweet way they're wanting to protect you they're wanting to love you and share that love with you because they're not just going to share it with anyone okay so you know knight of wands this is the energy of someone who's very passionate. Um, as you can see, we have a naked lady being scooped up out of a field by a naked man, racing off into the distance. So this is fire energy, it's passion, it's, it's lust, it's desire. And so perhaps maybe what they're starting to think about is their passion for you and maybe how that's made them feel differently than what they've felt before. Okay, and so perhaps you've kind of reawakened this person on that level of desire, but as we know, Knight of Wands is also the energy of, you know, the player, someone who isn't really sure about their emotions, so they just kind of act and do whatever. And so, you know, just remember that Knight of Wands could be that energy, but what I'm more feeling from this person is that they're learning how to break free, okay? They're learning how to break free and be themselves. Um, and truly allowing their passion, their desire, their sole purpose to push them forward instead of perhaps, like I said, what they were giving energy to before that wasn't working, okay? Whether that be, you know, expectations that were had of them or just kind of, you know how it is. People are taught, people are told, people are conditioned as they grow to do this, to not do that. And they end up in connections where love isn't even present because of tradition, because of, you know, of materialistic type things okay and so now i think this person is learning a whole new a whole new perspective they're they're learning a whole new world when it comes to you so um let's get some clarity on their intentions okay wow so we have the nine of swords and judgment and so i think you know this waiting energy for this person perhaps has been very overwhelming, um, very, it's like high anxiety, perhaps up late at night, worried, overthinking. This is not a good place. This is like having nightmares about this. And I think with the judgment card coming up, this person got a judgment call from the universe. They they had the, the horn come in like, do, 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 you know, they were like, hello, it's time for you to start showing up as your higher self. And this person was like, wait, what? And and then their higher self was like, yeah, hey, it's me. Um, you got to stop doing this shit and you need to start making moves and moving forward because you have things to do. As you can see, you're tied to Together with this person by the red string of fate we perhaps have spirit babies over here waiting on the other side that need to be born so you're gonna need to go ahead and get out of your head and start turning these fantasies into reality all right so with nine of swords to me like I said up late at night this person could have trouble sleeping thinking about you um, they could be having dreams about you where they're getting messages from their higher self um, like I said getting that judge that wake-up call that that call to action the twin flame call okay and so, you know, as you can see, this is a very intimate situation. And so, you know, this person could potentially be, um, you know, in their waiting phase, waiting on you, could be, you know, thinking very sexually about you also. But like I said, with the Knight of Wands coming out, I think that this person feels like you have woken them and and to this new desire and passion that they didn't know that they were even capable of is what I'm hearing. So, so let's get some clarity on their desired outcome. Although I feel like it was pretty clear, but let's see what we have from this deck. And also we'll see what's on the bottom of the deck. All right, you know what? That's so many, but we're gonna take it. 
All right, so one's on the floor too. Okay, so we have the moon, page of swords, five of pentacles, four of cups. Okay, so here's the deal with this person. All right, I'm gonna explain because like I said, I think that you woke, you woke this person up and you made them realize like who they really are. And so they perhaps have been having a, a tough time dealing with that and really putting their plans into action because like I said, they're like, they're going in circles in their head, like trying to figure out what the hell's going on. And you kind of maybe stunned this person person by you know being who you are and it awoke them to their their higher self to their higher potential okay so we have the page of swords and the moon so you know for me what this is saying is this person has very deep feelings for you this is more divine feminine energy um, as you can see we got you know some some insatiable scenes over here we got men sucking on titties on the ground and these women are like um i'm gonna toast to the moon and i'm gonna hold a mirror up in the air doesn't really make a lot of sense to me but you know regardless lots of feelings perhaps this person has been hiding how they truly feel about you this has been a common theme in these readings by the way hiding feelings um not speaking truths um, allowing things to kind of fester within and so i think what this person is struggling with is how deep they actually feel feel for you um, to the point where you know as you can see we have this fantastic looking female over here leaning on her sword just chilling um, unapologetically standing there wearing only heels um, <laughs> ass in the air and this guy's just admiring her from behind and so to me this is the energy of the stalker like this person is so overwhelmed by feelings for you that they they don't know how to express that and so they keep it a secret and instead of telling you how they feel they just watch you like do -do. Do, 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 do. Capricorn this person is literally probably stalking you and fantasizing about you and you're over here thinking uh, what I'm just being me and I'm not really concerned with who's behind me in my past um, five of Pentacles is telling me that this person is struggling financially okay and so perhaps like i said explaining the whole waiting energy and what they're wanting to manifest i think like i said it's overwhelming for them to come into this union with you because of these factors okay so um five of pentacles is lack it could also just be a lack mentality of not feeling like they're good enough but this is being left out in the cold and desperately wanting that warmth again okay so as you can see they're embracing um fully clothed i might add which is not common for these cards but they're embracing in a tender moment because it's like they've been waiting forever as you can see this violin playing perhaps it's a sad song that was playing okay it's a wistful energy in this reading it's like this person is longing to hold you. They're longing to feel your warmth and your touch, but they don't feel like they're good enough. They don't feel like they can measure up, okay? And like I said, they could be actually physically struggling financially um, in some way, shape, or form, and that could be really tough for them as well. With the Four of Cups, I think this person struggles because, you know, perhaps they missed an opportunity with you and they're focusing so hard on the past that they're not seeing this beautiful cup up here um, of opportunity. OK, and so perhaps, you know, maybe they are starting to see that. As you can see, you know, this woman is kind of pointing him in a new direction okay and so that could be you capricorn um you could have been like i said the one to kind of um plant the seed and show them like hey you know what you don't have to be stuck behind this fence you don't have to live in this sadness in this despair and this disappointment um you can actually just kind of take a hard left on what you were doing uh previously and you can cut through this gate right here straight to your happiness okay so um you know very interesting energy let's see what's on the bottom of the deck wow so we have the ace of wands beautiful um and look i love the twin flames in the background i think that that's amazing like you know this is passion this is desire this is sex this is fire this is like a brand new start this is the spark okay and so you know clarifying for before with the knight of wands coming up not only does this person want this emotional happy ending with you they see you as 
as perhaps their twin flame, as their soulmate, um, as this raw connection that can't be explained. And as you can see, she's just, you know, gracefully falling asleep and he's admiring her. Okay. He's just admiring her. That's intimacy. That's passion. Um, and you know, guys, it doesn't always have to be about the physical act of sex. Um, passion and intimacy come in all forms. Okay. In all forms. So I'm going to slide this up because you know how I be about these cards. Oh gosh. I swear you would think I was a Virgo to be honest. All right. So Capricorn, <laughs> let's get some energy oracles and see what's going on. What's challenging for this person. Although I kind of feel like we already discussed what's challenging them, but let's see what energy is there to back this up. And then we will move into messages from this person. Okay. So I just noticed how my flames are. One is really tall and one is really small. And so, you know, again, kind of symbolizing perhaps where things have been imbalanced um, in the connection. And so, you know, this temperance card at the beginning, I think, like I said, they're realizing where they need to themselves step into your energy, step into that temperance energy and, and be the alchemist and, and create and, and do what it is that they're, that they're being called to do from their angels, from the divine, from their spirit guides, so on and so forth. Okay. So what energy do we have as a challenge or, okay. Let's see. So we have magician in the mirror. Okay. So what was I just saying? This person is <clears throat> understanding now and, and thinking about the fact that they are the ones that need to be the alchemist, right? And so with the magician in the mirror, okay, we have a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, you have a lot of twin flame references. Okay. So with the mirror, as you know, twin flames mirror one another. And so with you being in this energy of this stable um, energy of planting seeds and moving forward and, and starting a stable foundation, they're following in your footsteps and they're realizing like, Hey, I can create this too. I can do this also because I am the magician as well. I create my reality. I am able to manifest. Okay. And so with the broken heart coming after that, I think perhaps, like I said, there was a missed opportunity. And so they could be struggling with, you know, manifesting uh, forgiveness of themselves, perhaps um, they could be struggling to move past this heartbreak in a sense, because, you know, when you meet your twin, you reflect back your darkness and that person. And so if this person hurt you, Capricorn, they're fully aware because they've had to look themselves in the mirror this whole time. Okay. So I think they're aware perhaps of how they broke your heart of how they disappointed you. And so, you know, what they want more than anything in the world is the 10 of cups. Right. And so the struggle here is to start manifesting a repair on whatever it is that's broken. Okay. So let's get some, um, balance going on over here on this side of the screen and let's start getting some messages. Okay. Let's see if this person had things to say, what would they say from their higher self for the sign of Capricorn? What do we have from the eternal messages? What do we have from the eternal messages, please? Do we have anything else? Anything else? All right. That's a little much. Now we have like a hundred. <laughs> yeah, we have a whole bunch. Let's just read through them guys. Let's just read through them because, you know, some of these messages could resonate with some and some of them could resonate with others. Okay. So, oh my gosh, Capricorn, what did I say? I've been having dreams of you. This person is literally dreaming about you. Okay. I can dream about you. Yes. This person 
like I said, they want to hold you. They want to embrace you, okay? And if they can't do that, then what they can do is dream about you, okay? Thank you, Dan Hartman. So, actually, I'm pretty sure that's Dan Hartman. <laughs> so, I've looked into tarot readings. So, this person could, you know, see you, obviously, interested in tarot readings. And they could know that that's, like, what you enjoy. And perhaps, you know, they stumbled across a reading that really resonated with them. And now they're, like I said, seeing things in a new perspective. They're seeing how... Um, how things are all connected now instead of you know being blinded by the way that they were perhaps told or used to seeing things i've been sending you messages in 5d so this person is dreaming about you trying to connect with you in dreams perhaps just connect with you in general um, they could be spending a lot of time thinking about you trying to manifest you um, and just communicate with you and let you know how they're feeling that they miss you that they want to be with you okay just wait on me. Please don't give up on me. So, you know, the energy of this person, um, like I said, kind of transforming into this King of Cups energy. I think that they're fully aware, perhaps, like I said, of how they broke your heart in the past and they're struggling to like come up with a way to fix it. And perhaps they're not even able to fix it right now. Perhaps that's what they're waiting on, okay? Maybe they're waiting on the opportunity to fix things and they just know they're not gonna have the opportunity for a while and it could be really frustrating for them, could be really frustrating for you and could just be causing a lot of of, of heartbreak okay I'm protecting this connection <clears throat> so what did I say there could be a reason why this person is waiting um, perhaps they're protecting the connection from outsiders in some way shape or form um, could be protecting the connection from a karmic partner um, again just take what resonates for you and your story okay I do want to make things right with you give me that opportunity so they're asking you, you know, when this person does come forward, they're asking you for the opportunity. They're asking you to understand um, and, and to be patient with them, okay? You really are the best thing that has ever happened to me. So, I mean, duh, look at this. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. We have this, you know, this ace of wands this judgment card everything's kind of pointing in this in the direction of this connection okay and i think that even though perhaps this person might not have be having the best time i think they realize that you're the best thing that they have in their life okay i've been receiving your telepathic messages so capricorn you could be trying to reach out to this person energetically and they are getting that energy which is what's kind of perpetuating that cycle right it's the the law of attraction so the more you think about something the more you think about someone and the more you um you know focus on that energy it shows up right it, it comes to you it, it becomes attracted to you okay I'm not blind to the signs, I do see them. So this person is seeing lots of signs and synchronicities about you. And like I said, the judgment card coming up, the wake up call, <laughs> they could just be getting all of these messages and just kind of slapping them in the face, making them realize like what's really going on between the two of you, okay? So let's close the reading with some musical messages and see what song dedication we have from this person. What song does this person want to dedicate to Capricorn? So we have two. Okay, so we have Ring of Fire. The taste of love is sweet when two hearts like ours meet. I fell for you like a child. Oh, but the fire went wild. Johnny Cash. So, you know, like I said, it was that instant kind of pull with this person. Um, so it's like I said, that you make them feel a passion that they've never felt, a desire that they've never felt. Um, and so, like I said, they could not have really been shown love before. They could have just been the person who always gave love and never got it back. And so now they're starting to awaken to that fact that you're the only person that's ever really truly made them 
feel that genuine happiness from the soul, okay? And we also have take care. So you won't ever have to worry. You won't ever have to hide. You've seen all my mistakes. So look me in my eyes, because if you let me, here's what I'll do. I'll take care of you. And that song is by Drake, but that's actually Rihanna's verse. And so, um, you know, this is just a message to you, Capricorn. Like they, they're aware of the mistakes that they made. Um, I don't think that they, they want you to hold that against them. I think they just want you to know that all they really want to do is take care of you. They want to be with you. They want to have this 10 of cups with you. Um, and so, you know, right now, based on the heartbreak, they could be struggling to look you in the eye, okay? They could be feeling maybe embarrassed or, or ashamed of the way they've treated you in the past because, like I said, there's really no one else like you. There's no one that's made them feel the way that they feel. Okay. And so, you know, give this person some time. Okay. Um, they're asking you for your patience. And, you know, when I say, you know, give someone time, I don't mean sit around and pine over them all day, live your life, right? Continue to be in that page of pentacles and, and move forward in your stability and your plans, because that's what's important. Your sole purpose, your mission. Okay. And, and when this person's ready, they will come forward. Um, and so when they do just remember that every Everyone's journey is different and everyone takes the time that's needed and although it might not be on your timeline Capricorn it doesn't necessarily mean that they love you any less or they care about you any less but you know circumstance circumstances sometimes call for these seven of Pentacles moments okay especially during retrogrades so Hopefully this reading resonated with someone, anyone. Um, I definitely enjoyed it myself. So if it did, leave me a comment. If you would like a personal reading where we can dig into your connection, please um, look at my information in the description box below. Check out my website. And of course, I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of Scorpio season. I love you. I will see you soon. Bye.